what can I say? <laughs> I just love blood. <laughs> What, you have that on steak? Oh, steak. Yes, I love steak. As long as it's not wooden and through my heart. <laughs> cut, cut, cut. What are you doing? My story. You said do a story on famous bloodsuckers. Mosquitoes, Kale. I meant mosquitoes. Oh, oh mosquitoes. Hey, hey, what's cooking, good looking? Personally, I think Joe should have been a little clearer with his instructions, but as you and I both just found out, this story isn't about vampires, it's about mosquitoes. This year's floods have also seen a surge in mozzies. While you're predicting an increase in rain this summer, I'm predicting an increase in mozzies. This year, I am really concerned. Yep, these annoying little bloodsuckers are out in force this summer. Oh. Which I reckon, ugh, you probably already knew. Hey, what you mightn't know though is just how dangerous these little insects can be. Seriously, Kale, how do you think what I'm a vampire? What do you want? It took me two hours to put the costume and the makeup it's on. Why would I take it? I'm a vampire. Forget about snakes or tigers or sharks. Ugh. Mosquitoes are the deadliest creatures on the planet, responsible for around 725,000 deaths every year. To be fair, it's not the mozzies themselves. They can carry and spread a whole host of different diseases, infecting people through their saliva when they bite. Luckily, here in Australia, our mosquitoes are pretty disease-free. But this summer, health authorities have been on high alert. See, mosquitoes like it warm and wet. And this summer, it's been, yeah. Mozzies breed in pools of stagnant or still water, and then are most active when it's warm. After a year of heavy rain and floods, there's been lots of pools and ponds and puddles and pots of water for mozzies to breed in. And a higher number of mozzies means a higher chance for disease. Earlier this month, Victoria recorded its first death in almost 50 years from a disease called Murray Valley encephalitis. And around the country, there's been cases of all of these mosquito-borne diseases. In South Australia, about 100,000 residents of the recently flooded Riverland are eligible for a free vaccine to protect against Japanese encephalitis. And every year, councils in Victoria do mosquito surveillance, where millions of mozzies are caught, sent to a lab, and then analysed to see which mosquito-borne diseases the community might be at risk of catching. <laughs> Health authorities say there's a few things we can do to keep ourselves safe as well, like wear mozzie repellent or use mozzie candles, cover our arms and legs with loose clothing, and be aware of pools of water around the house. I hope this isn't holy water. <laughs> You're not a vampire. You're not a vampire.